was a dry walk to the gantry today. No rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And you can really sense the anticipation in the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It's Crawley Town, and they face Forest Green Rovers. Well, thanks, Derek. It might be the start of a new season, but there's already concern from these fans about their team being relegated. However, a good win here might just change that attitude. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, 3 5 2 is a great system if you can get control of the midfield because your wing backs can then play higher up the pitch and the front two can combine as a pair, but they need to dominate that central area. So the Forest Green Rovers starting 11. Well, they're going to set up as a 4-4-2, which means the front two will need to be clever with their combination play. Dynamic with their movement and energetic with their closing down. I'm looking forward to seeing them play here today. And the contest begins. Jacob Maddox. Jordan Garrick. Well, it's a decent looking attack, this. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. And he whips it in. Well, no pressure on the keeper. Poor cross. Well, real excitement here. I say that because it's his long-awaited debut coming up. What should we be looking for from him, Stuart? Well, they needed to reinforce up front, to be honest. They were looking a little light. And there's going to be big expectations on him to hit the ground running. Hopefully, he doesn't disappoint. And losing possession. Zini. And threading it through. And rattling the post. And a time for calm on the ball. Well, they won't come closer than that. So unlucky not to take the lead there. Well, the owner of the silver hatchback with the license plate GR55JKK. Please contact the nearest security guard. Thank you. Oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Can he play it in? And it's gone behind for the corner. Playing it in. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, here it is again. And you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Thank you. 
And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Ben Gladwin. Williams. And they need to get tighter here. Well, quick thinking to win it back. Taylor. Matty Taylor. Well, possibilities inside the box. Opportunity. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Now the attack fizzled out. Oh, might be sound piece of goalkeeping now I'm hearing that something has happened in one of the other venues a goal there Alex Scott with the news yeah it's a goal for Tranmere Rovers they're back level it's one all with 37 minutes played thanks as always to Alex Scott Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Now, breaking at pace. Potential danger. Defenders need to cover. Cross towards that far post. Well, at one point on its flight, I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties, but no problems in the end. This attack looks highly promising. A fine reading of the situation. He's got space. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes. And a corner kick, the referee's verdict. It's a short one. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, he normally delivers, I think that's fair to say, but he hasn't delivered in this match. Well, he's not played at his best today, but let's give some credit to the opposition. They've closed him down quickly, stopped him dictating the play, and controlled that area of the pitch. That's why they're winning at the moment. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Brown. McAllister. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. And they could face difficulties here. Who can he pick out? The delivery. What an important piece of defending. A very effective clearance. Well, considerable transfer speculation in recent times. And now, Stuart, it has emerged 
that United have got their man. Well, the figure that's being quoted is around the £35 million mark, which in my view looks to be just about right. Let's hope he fits in quickly and justifies that price tag. Oh, Stewart, an opportunity. Oh, yes, a goal. Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space, and it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Well, back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. His team have... Three goals without reply. Matty Taylor. Akram Afif. Liam Kelly. Afif. Difficult to stop him. Nicely cut out. And a chance for him on the flank. Zini. Can he take the chance? And disappointingly, not even close to hitting the target there. Yeah, he was looking to open up his body, guide it into the corner, but he's got it all wrong. It's a poor attempt in the end. And intercepts again. And he has options available. And a good looking ball. Well, you've got to conclude that it was completely overhit. Pulls it back. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. But well, I'm hearing the referee has pointed to the penalties. In with a chance. Oh, back of the net. And a debut goal to boot. It doesn't get much better than that. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. And with play stop, they will make the change now. So back underway at 3-1. McAllister. Antini on the ball. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. Now, I believe changing circumstances in one of the other games. Alex Scott will tell us more. Yeah, it's a goal for Tranmere Rovers. They're back in this now with 80 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Can he get one back? And what a magical save it was! And time for the change now. And over comes the corner. Well, the danger is still there. Five minutes to go. Right now. And it's still on. Plays it back. Oh, another goal! You just cannot keep them down. And it sets up a furious finish. 
Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. Well, the electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. Innes. Very alertly winning back possession. Here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, there's no getting away from it. It was a poor display. They were disjointed, they lacked ambition and made too many mistakes. I have to say, that was a worrying performance. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.